Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Spring Porter with Spring Solutions LLC. In this video, I'm going to be covering three additional states that I don't believe I covered on my channel, Missouri, Kansas, and Nevada. I will show you um, how many cases they have in the funds locator and I will show you their bankruptcy court website so that you can locate the procedure manuals for how to recover unclaimed property for those districts. So if you're interested in working in either of those districts, please stay tuned. Please note that I am not an attorney. This information is not indicated as legal advice. So as always, we start with the ucf.uscourts.gov site. If you're new to my channel, this is a free site. Uh, most uh, states have their leads listed on here. Some do not. Okay. So Kansas happens to have their particular um, district here. So you search for the court and then you just click search. And then you have 4,600 cases where there are unclaimed funds available. Um, you click on the amount button twice. And then you have the highest claim. And it looks like these are from various chapter 13. So this one may be difficult to work unless the court will provide you with a complete list. But at any rate, um, you can work from here and work on down to see what's available. Now, this is a site that I've given before. It has a list of all the bankruptcy court and actually all the courts in the US, starting with the Supreme Court all the way down to you know the local and district courts. This right here shows all the bankruptcy courts. So if you come to this site, again, it's uscourts.gov, and you look for Kansas, it will pull up your bankruptcy court website for Kansas. So this is what it looks like. It looks like it covers three court locations. Um, there's only one district in Kansas, so there's three locations for the courts. If you type unclaimed funds in the search bar engine, It'll bring you up to the instruction packet and the forms that you need to fill in, you know, the application for unclaimed funds. So here you have right here, it spells it out for you what you need, application instructions. And so here you have what you need to do to fill it in. Okay. So here it is. And, and I keep reiterating the reason why I do this and do these types of videos is so not only do you see where the leads are, but you also see how different across the whole nation, um, how different the bankruptcy courts are, what documents you need in one state you may not need in another. Even within the same state, there are more than one districts in some states, and even within that same state, they have different rules and you know local regulations. So it's important to check this. I'm showing you where to go, but you have to dig in deeper if you're wanting to, to work these particular files. And here is your application form here. And you know, the other documents that you need. So I had a new subscriber reach out to me and just wondering, I guess they she saw the video, one of the videos, and she was just like, this is good, but how do I get paid? And so you have to go through the step-by-step -step process. This is part of it. The step-by-step -step process from start to end is on is in my course. Um, I do offer a lot of good information on my YouTube videos, but it is not from A to Z. It doesn't have everything that you need. I'm just showing you where the leads are and where to find it, but to actually fill in the documents and do all of that, you can for sure try to do it yourself, um, or you can, you know, take my course and learn how to do it from A to Z. And it, again, it's 10 complete lessons and it has documents, contracts, scripts, and all of that type of thing. All right, so anyway, this is the District of Kansas. Let's go back to this funds locator and we're gonna look up the state of Missouri. Now, Missouri has two districts and there's only one listed here. So again, I told you that this site doesn't always have all of the, the districts listed. And a good thing to do is to keep using this site because you may not know how many districts are in your area. Or if you're working in another state, you may not realize, oh, there's actually four districts in the state of California or Florida has three. You maybe thought there's only two. So you could be missing out on potential leads if, again, you're not doing your research. So I just want to make sure that everyone is clear on that. So see, Missouri has both Eastern and Western, and on this funds locator, they only show you the Eastern side. So you click on the Eastern um, District for Missouri, and we'll check that first. So let's search that. And there are about 4,000 or so, right, cases where there are unclaimed funds. 
So not too bad. Not a lot, but not too bad. Not as many as California, but there are some here that you could still work. And so you click the amount button twice and it pulls you to the highest claim and you just go from there. So from then on, let's go to the website that I want to show you. This is what it looks like for the state of Missouri in the Eastern District. And they have their court locations are here. And you know the address. And so unclaimed funds is its own little portal. You can click on that. And here are the instructions. It tells you what you need. It tells you who the clerk is, who to send it to, so on and so forth. It gives you the application itself, the order that you need. Again, I go over the step-by-step -step process in my course. I'm showing you where it is here, but if you need help and you're still unclear, you can get the information that you need from my YouTube videos, but again, it's not complete. I can't list everything on my YouTube channel for free. So here is the instruction packet. And again, it gives you all the claimants and things that you need, what documents are to support your application. So this is all here at the Eastern District of Missouri. Now, uh, let's go back and I'll show you how to find the one for the Western District because again, Western District is not listed on this site. So you would come to their um, bankruptcy court website and you would try to locate um, a list All right, so here is bankruptcy unclaimed funds on deposit in court registry. It tells you right here. So here is the application. There is, you know, all the forms that you may need. It tells you where to send it to, and it gives you an email address in case you need help. So here, when you go back to that main screen, here is the actual report. So this district has a PDF file and there are 274 pages. So again, same state, Eastern and Western district, totally different in the way that they operate. One is readily available. This one you have to do, you know, go through this particular PDF file. And you have to learn how to read this. Uh, again, that's why I say do your own research because here the case number looks different. You know, they have letters in here that you probably will need to take out. Um, and the way that it's listed is it's different than the way that it looks in the unclaimed funds locator but the amount is still here. And um, it, it does give you like the date of the transaction and it tells you who the payee is, right? So it's just, it looks slightly different. But again, these are leads that you have access to. I didn't pay, you didn't see me put in a credit card number or anything, this is free information. Okay, so this information is here, although it, it is hidden uh, to some, but I'm showing you where to look so you can become familiar. All right, so that is the state of Missouri. Now I wanted to show you one more and let's go to the state of Nevada. So let's go all the way back and let's see. Here's Nevada, Nevada just has one district. See, only one district here. And when I click that, there are over 23,000 cases where there are unclaimed funds available. And let's click, let's see what the highest claim is for this state. So this has one particular case from 2010, and it's over $170,000. It may be difficult to sort of work this one because it looks like it's a state bar of Nevada. It's a different kind of creditor. Um, again, I go over the process of creditor and debtor and all of that sort of thing in my course. But right here, I am showing you where the leads are. Um, and there are pretty good numbers here. If I just go to the next page, there are some, yeah, like $30,000, 24. There are some, there are a lot of cases here that you could try to collect from. So here is their website. So the District Court of Nevada, this is their website. And it looks like they have two locations for their court buildings, obviously Las Vegas and then Reno. And then there's a telephone number here on each of them. And unclaimed funds, we'll type that here. And 
here is their local rule and it looks like this was updated in June so you always want to look for like a date because sometimes they update it like this one's from 2018 so they're no longer following this particular set of rules they're following this one and it's telling you what you need any entity seeking a payment of unclaimed funds must file with a clerk a written application on forms prescribed by the clerk and available from the court's website the applicant must disclose the following so you have to do you know you just fill in um, what it is that they're telling you and here it says you need an order um, an agreement you know for compensation the amount that is requested you just have to go through and, and fill in uh, that information and down here it, it gives you the instructions see so you just have to read a little bit but it's all here and it says plainly the application now, although I don't see the application form, I am assuming that they're using the official form 1340. I've mentioned that form a lot in my other videos, and um, it's it looks similar in other states that use the official form. So here, you know, all the information is here. Post filing process it tells you what to do, uh, you know, after you have filed it. Again, if you are interested in knowing the complete process on how to fill in these documents, I go over that in my course. I go over what kind of claimant you need to be to get paid directly so that the funds don't go to your client instead of you, and then you're running around doing all this work, and then you don't get paid directly. Um, I go over all of that. And the tax form, I go over that too. Just to let you know, <clears throat> I have to keep reiterating that, excuse me, because... Some people may watch a piece of my video or just watch one and they haven't watched all of them and they're just unclear. So these are for that information is just for the new people that may have come on board recently and just maybe watched or heard something and they just weren't clear. But at any rate, these are the three additional states. If you want other states that I have not covered, I'm sure I probably missed a few. Um, I, I think I've covered the bulk of them. But if you want me to do a video on a state that you're in that I haven't covered, please let me know. Just send me a message or send me an email at springsolutionsllc at gmail.com. And um, that is it for this video. Please note that I am also continuing to do coaching calls and I do have a case management uh, services available. And of course, the information for my course is listed in the description box. Uh, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.